Hey friends, as promised, here's a full tutorial of my ombre cabinetry over my RV bed. And as always, if you like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We are currently sleeping in this room while I'm doing all of this work, so my goal is to do enough prep that each day I can clean it up, we can move our mattress back in, remake our bed, and go to sleep. All of our clothes are in here, so that's why I'm doing the plastic wrap over the cabinetry so the dust doesn't get over all of our bedding and our clothes, and I have to wash everything because we pay for laundry, so I definitely want to avoid that. So I knew I would have to paint with the doors on because I'm doing an ombre effect and I need to blend over and around the doors, but I could not keep them on for the full sanding and priming process, so I eventually gave up and my wonderful husband came in and helped me remove everything. So this is the end of the first day. I'm wiping everything down and vacuuming and getting ready to put our mattress back up. And I love this vacuum. If you've seen my other DIY videos, you know it's in the link in my bio. And this is day two. I do not want to do an ombre effect over here, but I am going to paint it the same dark blue as what's on the ombre wall. So here we go, sanding away, and I'm sanding around the vents. I have planned on removing the doors, having learned from the previous day, but I wanted to hold them up for as long as possible because it is a tight space. And I'm using 220 grit to sand everything down just to make sure we get a nice smooth finish. And the next day is a moving day for us, so I removed all the plastic sheets I had taped up the day before and dusted everything down and vacuumed once again. This is what it looks like after everything is sanded down. So on the third day, we finally get to priming. I really wanted to find the gripper primer that had been recommended online for RV specifically, but I couldn't find it anywhere, so I had to use Lowe's Valspar. It's fine, it's primer, and that's better than nothing. I had some issues with it the next day, which you'll see here in a minute, but I don't think that's the primer's fault. I think that is the RV's cabinetry. If you saw my earlier video of how we fixed this bed, I mentioned that I do plan on painting the underside, so I did prime it. I really wanted it to blend in with the ombre effect when the bed is folded up, because it often is. So I'm super excited for y'all to see that. Okay, so overnight my husband and I noticed that the primer was just scratching off. It was just peeling right away, and we determined that it's not necessarily the primer. It, maybe a better primer wouldn't have had this issue, but I think it was my sanding. I don't think I sanded enough, so I would highly recommend anybody who is doing this to double and triple sand maybe, I don't know, or be extra careful. And this is what it looks like. I just went around and scratched everything and then re-sanded areas that scratched off easily. And here I am just re-sanding the doors again, just being extra, extra careful. I honestly hate sanding, so this was awful. But luckily my husband came in to help me clean everything up, wipe everything down, vacuum, reposition the cat, of course, and prime a second time. At this point, I was planning on painting my ombre wall on a TikTok Live the next day, and I had not prepared for all this extra prep, so I was slightly freaking out. Luckily, my ever-supportive husband, who hates projects, came in and helped me finish re-priming this. So we got it knocked out in no time. Okay guys, don't come at me for this next thing. I know it's stupid, but this cabinetry is cheap. It is not solid wood, and we are really worried if we unscrewed all the hinges and the handles, we'd just strip it all out and it would never work right again. So I left the hinges on the doors, I left the handles on the doors, and you can see I left those latches on the main framing. And finally to the fun part. So I'm doing this on TikTok Live, so you can see my phone there and John's helping me answer questions and talk to people. And it was honestly a blast. I should definitely do that more often. I'm just not that outgoing, I guess. And of course, we've got to hold Nico at times. So I paint each stripe of each color onto the cabinetry to do like a first coat. And then that way when I blend, I'm not fighting the white as much and I can do second coats as needed or I can let it be. John came in and helped me paint some of the stripes just to help move it along a little bit faster. Again, the ever faithful husband who hates projects is there helping me out. So this darkest blue is honestly my favorite color and I will put all the colors in the description box below. They are all Sherwin-Williams paints. I did get the colors, some from Lowe's, but Sherwin-Williams can match anything. So again, you can see my hesitancy to remove anything. So I'm edging around our outlet faceplate and our USB faceplate that we have for charging on either side of our bed. The drawers are easy enough to take out and put back in as needed. I needed to take them out to edge around them, but I needed them in to blend. And now the really, really fun part is I am blending. I did not do this on TikTok Live because the stripes took me about three hours. I am using enamel paint this time and not just basic house paint because it is going on cabinetry and I wanted something more durable. The blending is a little harder it's not as easy to work with and I'm definitely relying more on constantly wetting my wet rag so I definitely recommend doing that but as long as the paint stays slightly wet it's just fine and you can always add more layers if you need to so don't stress if it doesn't work out the first time just go back in with another coat and you'll get it there I also chose not to blend the little ceiling part there I, I didn't think it made sense with the design and here I am this is my favorite blend those two blues I absolutely love it I didn't know what I was getting myself into blending around a door but it's not fun uh, 
that. It's got a cool effect, but if y'all don't want to tackle that, totally understandable. It is a bit of a pain in the butt. So once I finished all that, I took a little bit of a nap, and then that night I decided to go ahead and tackle this portion of the ombre wall, even though it is about 10 o'clock. This was the easiest part, obviously. It's a flat wood panel, it's a lot smaller, it primed well, it's honestly my favorite part, and I really loved making the ombre flow from one piece to another. I think it's a really cool effect, especially when the bed is up. Highly recommend having a bowl of water or a spray bottle with you to help keep everything wet, and just remember that house paints don't blend as well as artistic paints, so if it doesn't work the first time, just wait let it dry, go back and do a second coat, and it'll probably work out. But this is my first step in creating a more mystical feel to our RV. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, please drop them below. I'll be happy to answer as much as I can. And don't forget to like and subscribe to follow along with our DIY projects and our adventures. Until next time, friends, we'll see you nowhere in particular.